in verse 1, if there, be any, if there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one, being of the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vainglory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem others better than themselves. Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. We'll be talking this morning about uh, the thought process, the Christian thought process, and how our minds work. And uh, in doing so, uh, I've asked Chelsea to be up here to um, be a, a, maybe a test or a guinea pig for my new invention. This invention is the mind magnifier. And as we look into our minds, we see how that mind works. So Chelsea, uh, you don't, it's not going to hurt at all. You don't need any sedatives or anything. And so we're going to look into your mind. Is that okay? Yes. All right. Now let's go in here and take a look, see what's going on in there. First of all, I see a lot of file cabinets up there. There are some file cabinets that are full and some are empty. But uh, let's uh, see what else is up here. Oh, there's a bunch of little workers up there. There's some guys up there running around. And they're very small, too, by the way. And what are these workers doing? Uh, here's one over here that's opening file cabinets. There's another one here that's always oh, closing file cabinets. He's putting a lock on some of those drawers so he can't open some of them. And here's another one that says, why is this guy looking into my head? And here's another one over here. And there's uh, workers here that, oh, they're on coffee break. They're at Starbucks right now. Okay. And uh, here's another one. Mine Workers Local 101 is on strike. And there are some guys up there that push buttons and close file cabinets. And as we get information, we file things away in our mind. And sometimes we need to close and shut some of the file drawers in our minds. And that's some of the workers up in that mind up there. By the way, you can have this mind magnifier. You can use it on your brother and sister. But it doesn't work on parents, so... <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you, Chelsea. And if, in fact, that's the way I think sometimes. When I study the book of Romans or the book of Daniel or anything, I sometimes think that I take this page and I remember this page where the verse is put on the page and I try to file it in my mind so that I can go get it later on. Uh, sometimes it gets a little cluttered up there, right? And uh, so I have to be able to recall the verses that I'm, that I'm working on, that I'm thinking about, or people that I'm praying for. I need to be able to remember those things. And I have to get those little workers up there to be able to push the right buttons, turn switches on and off, or take some of the file cabinets. Uh, Anyone here from Grace School of the Bible? 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, please. Also, and... All proof correction. All right, there you go. There's a there's a guy back there and another guy here that uh, was ready to go. Randy and Tony, and I think Sam started in here too. But there's those file cabinets up there, and those little workers knew right where to go to get that verse. And that verse is there. Now they have the word of God in them able to make them walk, like Randy was talking earlier in the announcements. People have the Word of God in them, and There's it's motivating them the book of Philippians so. was written. And uh, if you turn, turn back to chapter 1, verse 9, and it says, the Apostle Paul writing, by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, it says, and this I pray that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment. And I looked at that verse, and I says, uh, and this I pray, that your love may abound more and more. Well, for something to abound, you first have to have something, right? So you first have some love, but now Paul says, I want your love to what? Abound. So your, your, your love in your Christian walk is doing okay, is doing good, but I want you to take it to the next level. So I want it to abound. Book of Philippians is written so that these people might have more love. When you have more love for someone, doesn't your, 
Aren't you happy about that? When you have care, I mean, people were asking me this morning, Debbie was asking me about my wife Judy, who's laid up a little bit today. And she, that's that care, how's she doing? And uh, other people have asked also. And that's, that's the oneness that we have. That's what this book is after us. It's, it's out to help us become one. And we'll see the verses as we go through. We're not just, we're a bunch of individuals and sometimes I forget your name and sometimes you forget mine, that's okay. But we're after the same doctrine, the same love. We're doing, we have a, we're on the same mission, folks. And we're, if you're saved, we're gonna, we're gonna spend eternity together. Do you understand that? Are you getting chills down your back right now? We're gonna spend eternity together. So you better get to like me now. Because later it's too late. We've, al we've already done God preserved his word for a reason. And he wrote it down so that we could, that Carl could hear it. And then maybe you could hear it too. Maybe these are some verses that we all need to attain to. Some verses that we all need to read and study. And we'll, we'll get into the, uh, the words here in a second. But remember we're talking about the, the spiritual pro uh, thought process and how thinking properly uh, can not only clear up problems in our life or in the assembly, but it can bring us uh, further says, joy and rejoice. In verse 8, it says, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, what, if there be any praise, if there be any virtue, think on these things. Did I misquote the verse? Did I? Yeah, I missed one, see, didn't I? I wanted to make this verse real, real, and I kept practicing and trying to make the verse mine by memorizing it. I'm I supposed to be thinking comments. about things that are true. What's true? The gospel's true. What else is true? It says, whatsoever. All right, the word of God is true. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh on to the Father, but by me. So whatever true, I looked up in the dictionary, and uh, true means genuine and accurate. And whatever is false now should fall by the wayside. I put put on and put off up here. Put it out of your mind, the negative part, and put into your mind the Word of God. You keep kind of like, you get the, the illustration, you're putting in, and the, and the bad's going out this ear, in one, my dad used to say in one ear and out the other. Well, that's exactly what this is. Put it in one ear, the Word of God, and the bad stuff goes out the other. Remember that illustration with Chelsea, with the file cabinets up there? What God wants you to do with those file cabinets, with the old you, with the old non-believing person of yourself, or the things that we watch and see every day, whether we have a choice or not, that we take those file cabinets that hold that information of the negative thinking or the worldly thinking or the fleshly thinking we'll and see. lock them We're up. We're going to go through and see some more here. Honesty. If I'm thinking honestly, which means fair or no deception, what would I that's, not want to that, be thinking about? That's what, that's what we're supposed to do at this side. Forget about Close it. The file Just let cabinets. it go. Get Stop it out of pushing it. those buttons. Let, let the right buttons, you know, you've heard that phrase, what pushes your button? Well, let this, let this push the buttons and turn the switches and open and close those files. We can doors start putting Bible verses up there, right? And doing this here. You might want to just take this, these verses here from Philippians 4 8, write them down on your coffee table in your kitchen, put them up on the fridge, pin them up at work. And when you start to go off the deep end like I do, I need something to pull me back in.